So, Eric, I have this big to-do list for you. Oh, I man. need you to get some stuff done, okay? Uh, uh. Number one, I need you to go get some milk for the baby. Okay. We don't have a baby. <laughs> yeah, don't, we don't, don't have a baby. question it, okay? All right. Number two, I need you to go get Lucy some mountain flowers. Who the fuck is Lucy? <laughs> She's our son's friend. <laughs> what? And then three, I need you to go get our son's guitar back from the bullies <laughs> <laughs> who took his guitar the, the bullies the bu- i think i don't know <laughs> someone in the uh, city those city folk this sounds like need, an awful lot of work i need you to <laughs> run all around town I'm, and do all of this stuff just thinking about this is just making me go through a range of emotions <laughs> from angry to sad to extremely happy whoa, for no reason whoa, whoa, whoa. okay calm down eric because i'm just making a joke just making oh, okay. a joke all right good you can chill all right back to yeah. my normal mood yeah because today on press any button we're talking about pac-man 2 the new adventures i'm nikki i'm eric pac-man 2 the new adventures oh. <laughs> is a 1994 side-scrolling point-and-click adventure game developed and published by namco The game was released in 1994 for Super Nintendo and Sega, but the Sega version was only released in the U.S. The player doesn't control Pac-Man directly in this game, but instead you help guide him by using a slingshot to get him through various quests. Various mundane Mm. quests. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you use the slingshot, but sometimes not. So yeah. Sometimes you have to just tell them which direction to look yeah. or go. So, Eric, are you ready to unpack the history of Pac-Man? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's uh, let's unpack Pac-Man. <laughs> So, Nikki, my initial thought was, hey, I can't find anything on the history of this game. I'm just going to do the history of Pac-Man. And then I thought about it. And oh, I'm gosh. Like, I don't really think this is a good representative of Pac-Man. This is such a weird game. I mean, th- <laughs> there's Pac-Man in this game, but this game is so far removed from what Pac-Man is. I didn't From the arcade yeah. version. Yes. Or the version that we're both familiar with mm-hmm. the most, I think. And plus, the history of all of Pac-Man would probably take uh, a really long time, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. But on that note, I do have to mention a few things because it will make some other things make sense. Okay. Sounds good. So Pac-Man or Puck-Man, as it's known in Japan. hmm <laughs> But you didn't know that. I did know that. Oh, you did know that? Okay. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Um, <laughs> came out in 1980. Wow. It was a older than us. It was a huge hit. Pac-Man fever was a thing. Yada, yada, yada. Did you play much Pac-Man growing up? Yeah, like arcades here and there. Yeah. I don't remember having it on like a console at home or anything, but I don't really know how you would make it to adulthood without playing Pac-Man <laughs> yeah, at some no, point. Right? It's definitely one of the most popular arcade games. And then like anytime we would stay at a cabin that had one of those like game cabinets in it, Oh, yeah, uh, like yeah. Pac-Man will always be in those and stuff like that. One of those arcade classics or something. Yeah. So definitely played it. I could never really get past like the second level. Yeah. It's a pretty hard game. <laughs> it just like escalates so quickly. You know? Yeah. It's like it... the first level is all like fun and games and the second level is like, whoa. <laughs> it's designed to take your quarters. Yeah. I get yeah. it. I get it. So, yeah, I never really played all that much. I mean, I, I did play about probably as much as you in mm-hmm. the arcades and stuff like that. But here's an early fun fact. I bet you didn't know that there was a Pac-Man cartoon <laughs> that um, aired. Hmm. The, the cartoon aired from 1982 to 1983. No, I did not know that. Well, I never even heard of it. It's important to this episode because a lot of the elements of the cartoon are borrowed for this game. Okay. So, so that makes sense. This game came out in 1994. Yeah, the about. The show was 1982 <laughs> and 83. Yeah, so, so almost yeah. more than 10 years removed from the cartoon. Oh, wait. Yeah, 94. <laughs> I 
housing in 84. Okay, no, yeah, yeah. They, they missed Wait, it. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it doesn't. So they made this game based on a poorly remembered cartoon <laughs> rather than, yeah, it doesn't make Why? any sense. I don't yeah, get it okay. Well, it's not entirely based on that cartoon. It just borrowed some elements. I'll, I'll say that. So hmm. may, maybe they thought it was going to be enough of its own thing. They're like, why let that cartoon go to waste? Yeah. So like the elements of Pac-Man's family, like the family structure with Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man, mm-hmm. uh, Baby Pac. I'm not sure if Baby Pac was part of the cartoon or not. But then you also have like a, a, a villain who's controlling the ghosts. So there's like a rogue mm. villain figure in the cartoon who doesn't actually do anything, but just sends out <laughs> the ghost to do stuff. Okay. And the ghost, you know, fail and then they come back and he gets mad yeah. at them and punishes them. So classic tale. Yeah. So that's what kind of the, the game is alluding to with its robed figure, even though they're different, they have different names and genders. Okay. Okay. Cool. cool yeah. Cool. I bet this game is starting to sound way better to you. It's so much more interesting now. <laughs> yeah. So the original creator and game designer of Pac-Man, Turu Iwatani, uh, was not involved with this game. <laughs> Inst- okay. Instead, a less experienced team. Uh, <laughs> a less experienced team. Yeah, we're yeah, responsible. Yeah, that's clear. <laughs> so the Mandrill Club is the name of the team responsible for developing this game. But there is very little known about this group. They were only ever credited with developing this game and a game called Super Wagyan Land 2, which is another Namco game uh, which never made it out of Japan. Huh. So mysterious. Yeah. I think they were likely part of Namco, but I couldn't actually confirm that anywhere. Ooh. Yeah, so... Mystery. A mysterious group known as the Mandrill Club. Wow. Watch out, Illuminati. (laughs) (laughs) While the original print run of the Sega Genesis version was published by Namco, later prints were published by Ballistic instead. This may have been done as a loophole to prevent contractual issues with Nintendo, who were notoriously strict about companies publishing games on both Nintendo and Sega platforms. Mm -hmm. So the idea was that they would kind of farm it out to this third-party company to publish the game. So I guess they were free to put it on Sega, whereas Namco couldn't or something like that. Yeah, got it. Trying to skirt around the rules. (laughs) Trying to skirt around that Nintendo monopoly of the 90s. Yeah, F that. (laughs) So Pac-Man 2 received mostly mixed to positive reviews when it was first released, with it being praised for its animation and innovative gameplay while getting flack for its controls. (laughs) You know what? I can't see that. So, yeah, this game actually kind of reviewed okay. It got a bunch of Cs, maybe low Bs. All right, all right. That's fine. I respect other people's opinions. (laughs) I'm just saying, you know, our review might not be as glowing. but (laughs) Yeah, it's not going to be. But at the time, yeah, it was pretty innovative. It was pretty different from a Hmm. lot of games. And people liked that. Okay. So my last thing is like uh, the box art of the game describes the game as an interactive cartoon. Do you think that's a good description of what it is? No. (laughs) No. (laughs) Why not? I mean, it is very cartoonish. It is very cartoonish, but the interaction part needs some work. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, your ability to kind of control and direct Pac-Man seems pretty limited. Yeah. And it's uh, very random when it works and when it doesn't work. So, yeah. Okay, so that's my history. Pretty short. Like I said, I couldn't find a lot about it. But I do have some fun facts to go over. Ooh, fun facts. I got three fun facts. Woot woot. All right, so fun fact number one Pac Man has many different moods in this game. <laughs> Did you notice that? I mean, yeah, that's not really like a fun fact. You just see that when you're <laughs> playing the game. From my count, there are at least 12 different moods Pac-Man can experience at a given time. I didn't know there was that many. Yeah. They kind of start looking similar. Yes. Okay. So the moods that I was able to count, and there actually might be more than this. So there's normal happy, extremely happy, whistling or carefree, smug, sad, stomping mad, red-faced mad, sick, loony, worried, Frightened and super. All right. I can't think of any others. Did you count drugged up? That was loony. Oh, okay. (laughs) 
<laughs> or uh, <laughs> sick or loony. I think sick was the drug one where he takes the drug. If you eat the wrong berries, yeah, some stuff happens. So there are a lot of different emotions going on in this game. Yeah, maybe a little too many emotions. <laughs> <laughs> so fun fact number two. Pac-Man becomes less cooperative the more you torment and abuse him. <laughs> He'll eventually lose his patience and then face the camera and scold you in frustration if you mess with him enough times. Did yeah. you ever get scolded by him? Yeah, he kind of breaks the fourth wall. It's like he knows that we're there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. I noticed he did that also if you like shoot the... There are like some kids who run by at some point. If you hit them with the slingshot, the kids won't react at all. Mm -hmm. But Pac-Man will just like turn towards you and be like what the hell <laughs> why'd you shoot those kids and he'll get angry <laughs> then he'll stomp around he's so emotional <laughs> you'll have to deal with angry pac-man <laughs> so my final fun fact the ghost witch of natur isn't really explained at all by this game <laughs> she's apparently the main villain and i was confused by why she was there and why she wanted to prevent pac-man from doing his chores so according to her wiki page, she hates Pac-Man for always ruining her schemes of world domination <laughs> to the point of wanting to kill him. Uh, yeah, given that Pac-Man dies from tripping over rocks and running into trees. I mean, yeah, he's one of the dumbest video game characters ever made. Yeah, she's not doing a good job. Her world domination plans must be really, really, really bad. I also learned that she's basically a stand in for the ghost wizard of Mesmeron who was doing the same type of stuff in the cartoon. Mm -hmm. That was his name. Why didn't they just use him? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But the ghost witch of Natur is in this game and she's actually in one other game and she's the only Pac-Man villain to be in two games. Ooh, what's the other game? Do you know? Uh, I think it was a handheld title. Okay. I mean, she does look cool. That's yeah. about all she's got kind of going for, though. But yeah, the ghost wizard of uh, Mesmeron or whatever, he would basically send the ghosts out to defeat Pac-Man. They would fail, and then he would punish them when they came back. Mm -hmm. The ghosts. <laughs> the ghosts. And that kind of like uh, pattern is apparent in this game, although yeah. it's not really explained. While you getting milk for your baby makes this witch want to punish ghosts because the ghosts weren't involved in that at all. <sighs> it's just some weird stuff. Yeah. This game is weird. That's a good word for it. Yeah, very weird. Weird. Uh, which is actually why I bought it for you, because I thought, hey, the art on this looks kind of weird, and it looks funny. Yeah. This will be a funny game to get, Eric. Wrong. Regrets. <laughs> Regret. It's two regrets as soon as you pick them. <laughs> so I don't know if you paid much attention to the story. It's pretty deep. <laughs> it's easy to miss the nuanced details. Oh, as yeah. As it unravels like an onion. With each mm -hmm. act building upon the other. Yeah. Pac-Man has to do all these errands. So there are four, that's it. <laughs> there are four acts in the game, Nikki. Do you want to <laughs> explain what they are? The four acts? Do you mean the four errands? Like, okay, you got to go get milk for your baby. Yeah. Then you got to go find some mountain flowers. Oh, you didn't You didn't go through. Okay. Oh, okay. There's more to unpack with the baby thing. <laughs> okay. I don't, so, don't want to get too nitty gritty. <laughs> yeah. Did you notice that like a normal person would probably go to the store to buy milk? Well, I didn't know if they had stores in this world. But it's pretty clear that the Pack family is destitute. And despite living in a house in the suburbs, in order <laughs> to get milk, you must trespass on a nearby ranch and milk a cow. Mm -hmm. So when you get home, Pack Baby immediately starts chugging the milk, just showing that he is very hungry or she is <laughs> oh, very hungry. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and this you did it. You fed your baby. Yeah, this game to me was all about that mask of living in the suburbs, but actually not having a lot. I think you're looking way, way too deep. Well, think about this. it. In the next act, he has to go gather mountain flowers. Instead of going to the store and buying a present like a normal person, he goes all the way to the mountain to get flowers. Okay, but that's because Lucy really <laughs> likes mountain flowers. She doesn't like store-bought <laughs> fake flowers. <laughs> She's particular. Yeah, but then Miss Pac-Man just gives her regular flowers anyway. Okay, but your son has a guitar in the next act i assume it's his like only possession <laughs> and that's why he's so desperate to get it back i i disagree with you <laughs> i just think they came up with really dumb tasks for him to do and didn't really 
think about it past that. I just imagine like that first one where he has to get milk for his baby. Like, is this like a routine thing where he's constantly going out to this ranch? I mean, to milk it this does cow? say free uh, on the bottle stand, like where the bottle is. It says yeah. free, so it's like so maybe the, the farmer just free. I guess maybe the farmer knows Pac Man is coming because he needs milk. But then why do you have to shoot the hay bell onto the farmer? If he knows you're coming and it's, you know, the milk's yeah, free. Good it's point. Like, now that don't, you know, <laughs> don't question too much stuff in this game because you'll start to get a headache. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you can read really deep into this game <laughs> like you, I did. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just skip on to the final act. Do you want to just explain what happens no, in the final you, act? I didn't even make it to the final act. You didn't make it to the final act? <sighs> no, I didn't. Okay. I'm not very good so at this game. So this is where the game gets really, the story gets really good. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you say. So Pac-Man sitting at home watching TV. Being the best dad, best <laughs> being husband. Being best man. He can be. Pac-Man sees a news report about ghost stealing pre-chewed gum from children. You or, mean ABC gum? Yeah, I do. Already been chewed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, classic joke. Yeah. So that's when the antagonist comes out on TV and, you know, the ghost witch in the tour, who's not important to the story at all, but she has used gum to make a gum monster to defeat Pac-Man. Ew. Gross. A ch- ABC gum monster. Pac-Man finds their evil lair, defeats the gum monster, and the children of the city thank Pac-Man, but ask what happened to their chewed gum. No, oh, no. They were going to chew that some more later. <laughs> it's and never, gum, gum's it, expensive in this world. So. It's never revealed in the story, but I have to assume that Pac-Man keeps the chewed gum. Yeah, gross. <laughs> he probably does. He's a weird little man. <laughs> it's a powerful message. Mm, yeah, so powerful. Always keep your chewed gum with you until you're done. Really, really done because you're not ever going to get it back once you throw it away. <laughs> that's right. Am that's right? that's what Nikki is interpreting. Yes. From this game. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about cons. Let's talk about some pros first. <laughs> How many you pros? Have pros I had the... two pros. Oh, me too. I really had to try hard to yeah. find some <laughs> pros. For me this me game. too. Why don't you go first? The music is okay. I, it's I, not the worst music I've ever heard in a video game. I kind of found myself, you know, like da da da, like not kind of like you know, happy it, listening to it. Yeah, the music didn't do anything for me. I wasn't big into, into it. It was okay, but <laughs> kind of in a goofy cartoon kind of way, I guess. Yeah. Well, when you're playing a game where everything's bad, the good stuff is still pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. But it's, you know, it's on the top of the shit pile. Cool. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the overarching idea of this game are like pretty good. Like the interactive cartoon world puzzle adventure sounds like it would be great on paper. Yeah. Like I can appreciate that they tried to be innovative and like do something yeah. different. But if you're going to do that, it still needs to work. It still needs to be fun. Yeah. I think the, I think what they did was they kind of came up with the scenario where it was fun to mess with Pac-Man. Maybe they had this interactive thing and they're mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, we'll just develop that into a full game where it's more like it worked better maybe as a demo. Yeah. So my final pro is that I think the animation is actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. A Pac-Man embodies the different emotions so well that <laughs> you think that there's maybe something seriously wrong with him. Oh yeah. <laughs> because he is going through like these crazy mood shifts all within like seconds yeah. basically. And if he's not in the correct mood... He will not do anything that you yeah. want him to do, which I will talk about in the cons later. <laughs> All right, what's your last bro? <laughs> you know, there's some funny jokes in this uh, game. Really? Like, you don't have much control over what happens, but when, like, a couple of things happen the way the game wants it to happen, I mean, it's kind of funny uh, a yeah. little bit. Yeah, I guess it can be a little bit like funny. Like when uh, Pac-Man trips and falls on a skateboard and, or you know, those kind of things. It's kind of funny. Yeah. And in fact, yeah, there's some good stuff there, but at the same time you have that stuff that it's almost like a deterrent from you actually trying to play the game mm-hmm. in a way. Yeah. So I don't know. Now we can go into cons. All right. So first and foremost, the controls on this game are so weird and odd and not in a good way. 
it's almost like they really wanted this to be a PC game with a mouse yeah. and a keyboard, but for some reason they released it on, you know, Super consoles. Nintendo. Yeah. And Sega. Yeah, and the reason for that is probably because kids had Super Nintendos and Segas, but, you know, not necessarily computers, so. Yeah, but why design the controls to be like that then? You know, they didn't have to reinvent the wheel on controls. <laughs> There's been many games created before that where you use the D-pad to move your player left, right. You can jump. But no, this game decides that your D-pad's going to control a cursor. And you have to shoot your slingshot sometimes to show Pac-Man where you want him to go. But then sometimes you use your cursor and you press C so that you can point in a direction that you want him to go. Which you may or may not do. So it's like... I will have like an analogy or whatever, a metaphor or whatever. You know, like in Christianity, (laughs) 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 you have God and God has a plan for everyone. Yeah. But also there's the concept of free will. So people have a choice to do what they want. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this game, you're playing God and you have an idea of what you want Pac-Man to do and what he should do. But he also has free will, <laughs> and most of the time he's just gonna go off and do his own freaking thing, like like stupid humans. I felt like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it's so frustrating because you really have very little control over what Pac Man does. You can't even get him to stop. Like there's no stop button. He's always walking. I don't know. I can't talk enough about how frustrating and bad the controls were set up if that was different i feel like this game could be at least mediocre (laughs) wow yeah um for me i i had i agreed with you my Mm -hmm. biggest issue with the game is the controls and i was going to say that uh this game while it might have been a novel concept when it came out it has aged extremely poorly over time yeah and then and like you said that um that scheme where the d-pad is basically your cursor yeah on the screen it does not that, work it's, it's not the this isn't the only game to do that that was kind of a other games kind of did that same mm-hmm. style and just most of those games just haven't aged very well that, that use that it's just really hard to control a cursor with anything other than a mouse or like a pen yeah you know a stylus um, or something yeah and it's just like <laughs> I'm used to playing games where it's like I'm trying to get the character to do something I want but it's like my skills that are keeping me from reaching the goal, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm not as precise with jumps or whatever. But this is, like, not my fault. This is the game's fault. Why <laughs> I couldn't keep, like, why I couldn't play it. It was just, I, I don't know. Not fun. Not good. <laughs> yeah, and then, and like... Maybe if you know going in before, you know, maybe if someone had picked this as a special guest or something, they could, like, give us a heads up. Hey, heads up. Don't go into this thinking <laughs> this is going to be a fun platformer game. This is like different. <laughs> Maybe I could have had like a little bit different mindset going in and like my expectations could have been a little different. I don't know if it would have made the game better or not, but it could have like made my frustration less possibly. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. So My other problem with the controls is that also sometimes uh, Pac-Man just acts on his own. Like, yeah, he'll uh, he'll find an object in the background and there's no way to tell him, hey, don't go over that hot dog cart. Like, like, don't do it. He'll just do it on his own. And it's like it's that free will thing that he has (laughs) in this game. I don't want my video game characters to have free will. I want to control everything they're doing. It just just takes him forever to get anywhere because he has to sit and like point out and look at every objects and yeah. object and then when he is going it's like okay now you now i need you to stop and he doesn't you know. yeah i guess you can tell him to look up or down or something <laughs> maybe yeah his emotions are all over the place yeah like he is unstable he needs to be on medications <laughs> i um, feel like the the pellets he throw out are kind of his medication because what he'll of. do is he'll eat the pellet he'll turn into super pac-man but his emotional state will kind of reset to a mild happy yeah. after he's done. Yeah, but that only works for like two seconds. Yeah, and then and he'll run into the next object and it will change. Yeah. Again. yeah. And it's like, he honestly is just a whiny baby. <laughs> and the whole time I was like, 
asking myself why this character chose to procreate and he is like by far the stupidest person in the world and should not have children because he's just really really stupid <laughs> and dumb he's also completely made of glass so anything will hurt him yeah. or kill him and if he's upset in any sort of way whatsoever anything other than perfectly happy he's not gonna do the mission that you're on. Like he is not going to do anything you want. Yeah. And when he gets really angry, he has a tendency. He's like more likely to kill himself in some way. <laughs> so you'll have to deal with that. But sometimes you actually need him angry for specific things. Sometimes you need him happy. It just, it's, it depends. Look, he needs more medication than just the pellets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to be on at least like five different other medications. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> all right so one of my cons is that this game has basically nothing to do with pac-man other than the fact that pac-man and his family is in it, in it and the ghosts are in it like i said it, it has more to do with the cartoon than the actual mm -hmm. original game pac-man yeah well i mean the original game doesn't really have much like story <laughs> yeah i mean i get that I get the idea that, hey, we can't really expand on the original idea of mm -hmm. like a maze action game, strategy game, but I don't know. They just, it's so far detached from what that is. It just doesn't feel like it has any connection at all. Yeah. Like it's, you have ghosts, I guess you have the pellets, but the Super Pac-Man thing was weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Everything about this game is weird. Another thing that I don't like is how repetitive this game is. Like... Once you walk through a level and you've done that particular quest or mission, whatever you want to call it, errand. <laughs> um, yeah, it's definitely an errand. And you go back home, you know, any other time you pass through that area of the map, you have to kind of like repeat yourself. So like anytime you walk by the farmer, you have to shoot that hay bell down on them. Yeah. Like every time, even if you're not stealing milk from the cow or whatever. <laughs> And it's like the hot dog stand thing. If you're going walking by the hot dog stand, he's going to stop and try to get a freaking hot dog, even if you don't want him to. Yeah. Even if you're not doing that part of the, the map and that mission, it's like, why? Why does he have to do these things every time? It's extremely frustrating, especially when you're stuck and you're just trying to figure out a thing. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, Pac-Man, I need you to go over here. I don't need you to look at this thing for the thousandth time. Mm -hmm. Like, Yeah. It's obnoxious. <laughs> so one of mine is that the story is just so, so bad. They, they didn't even try. The acts are him running errands. Yeah. Like this isn't interesting or fun stuff. It's um, not like. Stuff that he should already be doing, by the way, without Miss Pac-Man having to ask. Yeah. Like if your baby's out of milk, go get some milk. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the motivation for the main antagonist is never really explained. Pac-Man is a barely functional adult. <laughs> who like literally like if a car splashes a puddle at him, he will die. <laughs> that yeah. will kill him. That's not fun. It, it would be like if Superman died by tripping over his shoelaces or yeah. something. It's <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't, I didn't really think that we could find a, a worse game than Superman 64. <laughs> uh, but this game is pretty, pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah. yeah. I still think six, Superman 64 is a, a little worse, but yeah. Yeah. It's pretty close, though. I mean, that's about all I got to say about this game. <laughs> Don't play it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Unless, you're, unless you love torturing yourself. I just got one more, and mine is with the puzzles themselves. Okay. So, like, act one is fine. You know, you have, you go into the screen, you have a cow, you have a bottle, you have a farmer. Mm -hmm. You have some basic stuff yeah, to deal straight with. Forward Stay ish. forward. You get the milk. You milk the cow. Or get the bottle, you milk the cow, and then you go home. Mm -hmm. Act two is pretty bad, but it's passable. Like, it's possible to get go into this pointless loop, but it's a little bit more challenging. You got to get him up this mountain. You got to get him past this danger sign, mm -hmm. up a rope, and do a hang gliding section. And that's okay. Yeah. Anyway, then you get to act three, and that's where it just gets atrociously <laughs> bad in my Did opinion. You have to do the hang gliding part no right. you go to the city in act three. Oh, my bad <laughs> that's act two that's the mountain flowers oh yeah my bad you should know you played this game a lot i'm sure oh yeah go to the city oh yeah you go in the sewers no uh, you don't go to the sewers that's the thing oh wait i did go in the sewers. you can go to the sewers <laughs> and that's not where you're supposed to do and you get caught in this loop yeah we're like okay you can you go to the city you go past the screen 
you can go in the sewers and then you can loop back out in that same screen. Mm -hmm. And you don't know you're not supposed to go in the sewer because any other game going in the sewer is like, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. There's yeah. going to be a mission down there. <laughs> but yeah, why this is so convoluted is what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to walk by the screen and then turn Pac-Man around and have him walk the other way and approach a screen from the right side. And then at that point, a character will show up. Mm -hmm. He's not going to come if you're, if you're looping through it, like yeah, from the so sewers. Stupid. The only way to get him to show up is to leave the screen from the left and then come back from the right. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's it makes like, no sense. It doesn't explain it. Like there's no way to figure out. It's not a puzzle. It's just like, it's just the game being yeah, cruel. It's like, that's not a puzzle, people. <laughs> that's just being annoying. <laughs> yeah. That's just them trying to pad out the play time for this game. <laughs> because I guess if the blue guy was right there, you'd figure it out too quickly. But yeah. Yeah. There's suddenly like a blue like security guard just standing right there. And as it turns out, the security guard is all three of the ghosts. <laughs> and one of the ghosts has the guitar. But, no one will know. <laughs> but yeah, it's just the convoluted puzzles. And then I said I had one thing, but I actually have one more. There's this ridiculously difficult minecart section. Oh, yeah. In the sewers that's completely pointless. Mm -hmm. Like there's literally no reward for beating it. It just takes you back to your house. It took me so many tries to beat it. And I was convinced that it was the, <laughs> how you got the guitar back. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was convinced like, like, okay, you did a hand gliding section to get the flowers. Yeah. I bet you have to do this really hard. Um, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. And instead, like I finally got it. And then it like Pac-Man climbs up this rope and it, it's like at his house. It was like, what the fuck was what? the point of that? Oh, yeah, so, and that's stupid. Yeah, you didn't need to do the minecart thing at all because you can just take the train back. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so it's totally pointless. Yeah, it's kind of like they played a prank on you or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, hey, we know you're frustrated. We're going to make you more frustrated. Yeah, that was the point where I decided that this game is just really ridiculously bad. Yeah. All right, so moving on to strategy. Nikki, oh, God. how how did you get Pac-Man to do what you wanted him to? I honestly... Or do what you wanted dude, him to. Dude, I don't know, man. Keep Pac-Man happy or angry or whatever emotion that's, he's supposed, supposed to be. That's the thing, though. Like, you don't necessarily know what emotional state he has to be to... Exactly. That's why I don't have any strategy for this game, because I don't know any. Not, everything I tried didn't work, so I'm not really the person that should be given strategy. And like I said in the fun facts, there are 12 different emotional states Pac-Man can be in at a given time. And so, that's just the ones you counted. Yeah. So, yeah, this game is not a fun puzzle game in my opinion for that reason there's no real strategy for this honestly it's like luck most of it's luck <laughs> <laughs> it's either luck or like just looking and seeing what you're supposed to do ahead of time yeah yeah so my number one piece of strategy is just don't play the game watching someone else play the game and becoming increasingly frustrated by it is more enjoyable than playing the game yourself <laughs> I guess you're talking about your experience of watching me play the game. Yeah. You enjoyed that? Yeah, that it was, was fun. fun Fun watching you getting frustrated. That was fun for you. It's not fun for me to play. You, you enjoyed that journey for me? <laughs> <laughs> your journey of all about 10 minutes that you played. <laughs> I played more than that. Yeah, I mean, we traded off a little bit. Did you ever play on your own after any of those two times? Yeah, when I got home from the Super Bowl, I played a little bit. You sure? Probably for another... <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't like torturing myself. You I, know? I like to treat myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, the mood when he interacts with an object makes a difference. And then for like the hand gliding and minecart sections, you basically just have to do them over and over again until you memorize them. Yeah. They're, they're not that hard, but they can be kind of frustrating because there are no checkpoints. So you have to yeah. get like a perfect run and there are all these different things that can throw you off. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you didn't have that, the game would be really short. So I can kind of see why they, did, they didn't have like checkpoints for those. Yeah. What would have made sense is if they had like each of those sections between all of their objects, like mm -hmm. maybe the first one was that easy one. The second two could have like a hand gliding and then a minecart section, but yeah, the fact that like one of them is just completely pointless, just I don't I don't know, 
It's like, why did you add it? If, yeah. If you didn't intend on anyone. Yeah, at least give us like it. a special power or something. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Nope. All right. Moving on. Do <laughs> you have anything for the future? I did see one thing. Um, this one came out last year, so I don't know. I haven't really heard anything else about it. But in August last year in New Zealand, Namco did file for a trademark name for the game Pac-Man Superfast. Hmm. But uh. no one really knows if that's supposed to be another game or if they're doing like some media tie-in with something else. Cool. So maybe a game so called Pac-Man Superfast. Possibly a new a new game, but that's very vague. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, I really didn't see that much. I know they just ended the Pac-Man 99 yeah, that came that out. Yeah, that sucks. So that ended in October last year, or yeah. 2023. So not really the future, but yeah, that's really all I could find. Yeah, and then their most recent game was um, Pac-Man World Repack, which is a re-release of Pac-Man World, which came out in October 2023, around the same time they ended Pac-Man uh, 99. Well, I did that on purpose. Those jerks. So I have to confess. Sure. I didn't. Uh, I did not get the guitar back for yeah. my son. <laughs> I'm a bad dad. I mean, I eventually did, but I did not have fun doing it. <laughs> and then getting into the factory, I started to, and I was just like, you know what? I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I feel like for you choosing this game uh, and making me play a bad game again, <laughs> you should have to rap with me. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I didn't technically know it was bad when uh... I picked it. You had an idea. You knew the rumors. <laughs> you told me when you opened it for Christmas, you're like, oh, I heard some things about this game. <laughs> so you kind of knew. Yeah, I think the rumors might have turned out to be true. So I did have an idea. <laughs> it could have been a bad game. But yeah. So I, we'll both I'll do a, uh, I'll do a sympathy rap with you. All right. <laughs> I'm Pac-Man, checking out trash cans, decking out red bands, wrecking route plans when I can. Walk for a span, now I'm in Japan. Oops, that was quicksand, won't follow commands. Well, on a branch that I dread, fell on a branch, now I'm dead. Quell my emotions with meds, or embed me with lead. Up ahead with a slingshot sped, straight to my head. Hey daddy, can you get us some milk? The baby's crying and my robe is silk. Just shoot the hay and run a bilk. Gonna show our son a good ilk. I'll be here running the show. Watch the kids grow while I'm drinking some Joe. They're always on the go, faux show. Working hard yet going with the flow. You know you can be a bit moody. Sometimes I feel like I'm married to Judge Judy. One minute you're happy, the next you're loopy. Luckily you have a nice booty. Don't worry kids, we're working it out. Without a doubt, don't pout. The Pac-Man sub is about the kind of ship books talk about. Thanks, Eric. You're a trooper. You're welcome. So, do you want to uh, know what my game is going to be? Because hmm. I've got revenge on the brain. Revenge on the uh. I'm, I'm thinking another really bad game. Oh, yeah. Barbie Fashion Design <laughs> 2003. 2003? Is that an actual <laughs> game or just one you made up? Yeah, I just made that up. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to pick a game that I think will be fun, actually, because I'm tired of playing crappy games <laughs> that I don't like. All right, yeah. So I'm going to pick, and we haven't done a new, a new game in a while. That's true, we haven't. So I'm going to pick Mario Wonder, which just came out not too long ago. And do you want to know what your challenge is? Sure, yeah. You have to get all the Wonder Seeds. All of them? Yep. How many are there? Uh, there's usually like two per level, two or three per level. Okay. Um, and the levels are pretty short. They don't take very long to play. So even if you have to play like twice. So like um, to get hundred seeds, maybe. Maybe I think there's like six worlds. Probably like maybe ten levels per world. Like maybe like a hundred and twenty wonder seeds. I don't know. Huh. I didn't really look it up. I came, <laughs> I came up with this challenge all by myself. I didn't come wow. up with a trophy. I didn't look up a trophy or anything. Good job. So, uh, 
Got to get all those wonder seeds. I better get started on that. <laughs> you better get started on it. I think you can do it. Oh, thanks, babe. You're welcome. All right. Well, until next time. All right. Bye. Bye. If you like this episode, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or rate us on Spotify. Also, check out our website, pressanybutton.net, where you can listen to our raps or even buy a t-shirt. All right. Until next time. Bye.